after a meteorite lands in their front yard of their farm, Nathan Gardner and his family find themselves battling a mutant extraterrestrial orgasm as it infects their minds and bodies, transforming their quiet rural life into a living nightmare. Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. Elliot here with another, let's call it, I guess, not a retro review, but a film that I didn't get to see last year that I now have plenty of time on my hands to watch movies that I missed out to. Uh, today, we're talking about uh, Color Out of Space, starring Nicolas Cage, that I was able to watch on the Hoopla app. So, very excited to talk about this film and this non spoiler review, but before we dive into it, as you all can see on the screen now, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Really helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. Make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts. And last but not least, if and when you've seen this movie, Color Out of Space, what did you think about it? What did you think of the performances? Uh, let me know some of your pros and cons. Let's have some fun discussions in the comments below. So kind of a little background with this movie. I remember hearing about it last year. Uh, I, I know it came out earlier this year. Didn't hit any of my theaters, unfortunately, but it was something I was keeping an eye out for because I actually like... Nicolas Cage a lot actually he's one of my favorite actors and I love when we get to see Nicolas Cage in these type of horror cosmic body mutating type of films and I saw the poster I have the Hoopla app which if you guys aren't too familiar with that it's essentially from your local library you can rent and borrow movies, shows, magazines, uh, comics, and so many great things. It's a pretty cool app, and it's free if you have a library card. So I just recently watched it, and I'm here to talk about it, guys, in a non-spoiler review. So first and foremost, I clicked on it because I thought the poster was badass. So visually speaking, this film definitely lands on the visuals. We'll talk about some of the VFX, but as far as some of the the color schemes and the visual effects and cinematography and the score and the filmmaking aspect was really well done. I thought the performances for the most part was pretty convincing. Uh, when it comes to horror fans, and I'm a big horror fan movie, especially when it comes to watching movies where you have this family that's being affected by this type of entity, we'll just say this, this cosmic entity, um, you know, you normally can pick out some of the family members that you don't really like, but for the most part, the mom, Nicolas Cage, you know, Jodie Richardson, who I'm a big fan of since Nip Tuck days, Seeing Brandon Meyer, who I've you know really liked him in The Guest, and I'm a big Schmodown fan, so seeing him in this film was fun. Madeline Arthur, seeing her in a few films, I really liked her. She was actually probably my favorite character in the entire movie, if I'm being honest, as well as Edward Ward, or Elliot Ward, who played the scientist. I really liked his performance. So as a package, as actors, and also our local uh, Ezra, our local genius of the town, as a whole, I really liked this cast. There wasn't any performances that really didn't, um, you know, take me out of the movie. There were some moments from the characters that I wasn't really on board with, but I think that had to do with kind of what was going on in the situation it was in, that they were kind of reacting based on the stuff in the water. I won't give that too much away and the stuff that was going on there, but as a cast goes, I thought that they were really well. But like I said, guys, the reason I clicked play on this film was because of Nicolas Cage, and I want to see him do his cageisms and do his craziness, and we'll get to that. But I, what I did like about Nicolas Cage's performance, I think we sometimes forget that he is a really, really, really great actor. I love how he was kind of settling into the madness. At first, we see this dad who has his family from the city out to the farm. He's trying to live that farm life, and everyone's pretending to be happy, but everyone is not the best, you know, not satisfied with the Wi-Fi and living out in the sticks. But we see Nicolas Cage kind of giving, you know, a standard dad performance. And as the events kind of unfold, the film kind of unfolds and Nicolas Cage starts to let the layers come out and, and unloose the cage. The Nick in the cage comes out. And I really had a good time seeing that uh, descendant, descended into madness with this character, Nathan, who, again, without giving too much away, like I said, I was looking for something. I was looking for that Nicolas Cageism and I got that plus more. Uh, the film's chaotic. It is bonkers. It is visually cool. Uh, there's some really awesome uh, practical effects and we'll talk about the visual effects in a little bit, but I was pretty entertained for this film there is a little bit of a lull kind of in that second half and kind of transition to the criticisms here and there were some like I said some reactions that I didn't expect from some of the characters but one of the biggest things as far as criticism goes was when it came to the practical effects were pretty cool kind of reminded me of like the thing John Carpenter's the thing uh, but there were some VFX from some of the creatures, I'll say that, and some of the color scheming and the color grading, especially in the third act, which gets bananas, that didn't look that great and kind of took me out of the movie. Again, this is kind of has that B-level horror film type of uh, characteristics, which I'm fine with, but I was just like, oh, those are just some bad visuals. And there were some moments that I wish 
were kind of elaborated in more and I wish we could have spent a little bit more time with kind of learning these characters and, and spending some more time in the town maybe but all in all guys this was a pretty entertaining film for me again I thought it was going to kind of go one way I thought it was going to be maybe all the kids creepy and there's something going on there but it kind of took that element and, and gave it to another character in the film uh, which I was pleased with but all in all I was pretty satisfied with this film it was bananas it was bonkers I'm still kind of processing what I just saw uh, but like I said if you guys have haven't seen a color of space and you have the hoopla app or if it's i believe it's available on vod i believe it came out like two months ago so if you want to check it out on vod i would recommend it guys so with that kind of being said i'm gonna give this film a pretty solid three out of five i i got what i wanted some pretty cool visuals i'm a big horror fan so i got the horror kind of mutations going on i got some pretty good performances from the family members it was pretty visually uh kind of entertained and also like i said nicholas cage they let the nick out of the cage and i I really had a good time with that guy so again three out of five for me recommend you all check it out and when you do let me know what you thought of it give this video a thumbs up share this video comment below subscribe to this channel if you haven't already make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new content follow me on all my other social media accounts got a lot of stuff coming out this uh week with a uh, movies I recommend or shows I recommend on Apple TV Plus. Might do another one for Netflix. Uh, got devs, finale, uh, got watch alongs, a lot of cool stuff coming for you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for those videos. Thank you all for watching this video, and we'll see you soon.